Hi, Jim. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. So we're going to talk community in a second, but first, Mike Tyson Mysteries. Yes. Which is this new series. Mm -hmm. Tell me about it. Premise, who do you voice? It's Mike Tyson, obviously, and it's sort of like an homage to those 80s, sort of like a Mr. T, sort of mystery-solving, Scooby-Doo type cartoons. And uh, yes, uh, Mike, I play uh, the Marquis of Queensbury, which is actually a guy who invented uh, or endorsed the rules of boxing back in the, whatever, 18. 1800s, and um, so he's sort of like a guardian angel to Mike now, um, and uh, along with Norm Macdonald voices the pigeon, uh, and uh, there's, uh, he has a, Mike has an adopted daughter played by, uh, voiced by Rachel Ramress, Young He, and um, we solve mysteries in a mystery van. What was your first reaction when the project was brought to you? I mean, the title just made me chuckle, it still does. Yes, Mike Tyson Mystery is fantastic. Well, I, I know Rachel, uh, and then Hugh Davidson, who's one of the, um, so the show creator writer uh, from the Groundlings, okay. and I loved it right away because I mean I, I was you know watch I I was raised by cartoons I feel like in the eighties. Did you watch the Smurfs? Yes. yes, I did too. But the Smurfs feels like it's like at, after a point it's like they jumped the shark. They started adding more. Well, no, and they started to Smurfs, add the characters. And the Snorks took off, and then sort of. The Snorks actually never really did take off. It's in interesting. I'm going to correct you. In my that. mind, the Snorks were like. Like, that'd be fun to see the battle between them. Smurfs and the Snorks? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm sure someone right now is going, like, brilliant. Community. Mm-hmm. Had you made peace with the cancellation? You did sort of have to sort of process it and move on, because there was a good amount of time of mourning, you know? And then all of a sudden, they're like, hold on, there's talks. But they were very vague, you know, at the top. Um, so, yeah, you sort of sort of start planning. <laughs> You know, I mean, they take those sets down like that. I mean, I think my foot was out the door, and they were like. <laughs> when you got the call that it was continuing, what was that? What was that like? It's great. I mean, because you last year was such a. Uh, it just was so creatively one of my favorite seasons, and uh, but you still felt like there was more. You know, you felt like there was still a. Um, uh, a place to sort of end it or keep going with it, whatever that is, and it feels like whether whether it's six and goes beyond, or whether it's six and really a movie, or just six, it's you know, it's uh, we're already blessed to make it this far. Mm -hmm. So the idea that we keep a, a lot of life support, um, you know, you're lucky. Anything on your wish list that you would like to see? Happen? Well, we talked about uh, Gilly and I were talking about. That, that's just a relationship I still feel like the the issues with Dean and, and Britta are just something that I feel like are always sort of underneath, you know, uh, whatever feelings he has about her uh, of being the worst. Uh, I just feel like that would be fun to explore. Maybe there's a world where Game of Thrones, we could sort of work that world because you had City College and you have... Um, these are bad pitches and Dan should never take them. But I just thought there's got to be something you can battle for. What's the throne between City College and, and, and Greendale? Dan mentioned uh, that the, the she'd like to do more outdoorsy yes. stuff. Because we were, ref <laughs> it's as if there was a, a wall of security guards going, do not step outside of this <laughs> stage. You cannot go outside. As soon as you step outside, a million dollars falls right. out of Hollywood's pocket. And Yahoo has a ton of money, apparently. Yahoo said the first thing was, we love outdoors. I don't know. They did not say that. Uh, yes, I think it'd be nice to get back. I mean, because that was. First, second season, you were... First season, for sure, we were going to an actual, you know, college. Right, you saw campus. the campus, yeah. We saw a campus. Then Paramount lot had things for a sort of a quad, and we used that. And then, literally, they were like, stop it. Do not go outside. You know, this is how it works. Smurfs versus the Snorks. In a Game of Thrones, full on, uh, your favorite characters will not survive this. I bought a couple of the Snork figurines. Did you? Yeah, but then it just didn't happen. Yeah. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel the connection that I felt with my Smurf no. figurines. No, after a while, you're like, guys, you have a, I guess, a, a blow tube coming out of your head. Yeah. Someone who created Snorks is like, it wasn't a blow tube. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're probably dead. The Smurf wow. creators. We went, we went dark. They had a good life. We had a good life. Oh. Uh.